Hey everyone, I just wanted to answer some quick questions about Rocket Explorer. What it is and, and some of the general questions I've seen and then some more specific questions that I asked you guys for. Um, so I can, you know, let you guys know what it is before you, before you buy. First off, go into Steam, search Rocket Explorer, put it on your wishlist. That way you won't miss it when it goes live. The first week there is going to be a 15% discount. So make sure you go in and snatch it while it's on discount because why not? So real quick first, what is Rocket Explorer? What is this thing? For the past two years, I've been uh, developing this rocket viewing experience and that's all it is really. It's, it can also be a tool, I guess, and, and a learning experience. Um, but yeah, it's essentially just a program to view rockets, compare them to each other, which is a main feature. And you can also launch them from the launch pad there. There's a launch pad environment. And yeah, you can also explore the individual rockets by sort of taking it apart in the exploded view and also viewing the individual stages. So there are three main environments for now. There's the rocket viewing scene, which is what I'm in now. I'm actually in Rocket Explorer, as you can see here. You can just view the Ariane 5, for example. Why not? And then you can go into the launchpad scene, for example. You can see there's the big fixed service structure tower and a water tower. And here, of course, you can also do the exact same thing. You can view the rockets, but this time you can walk around as if you're actually there on the pad. And you can walk up to the rocket and view it. So th that's the general thing. There's a, also another scene, the, the rocket hangar, where the rockets are sort of laying down in a hangar-like environment. Oh, and there's photo mode. So as you can see here, you can move about in this photo camera. You can fly around and you can zoom in on the rockets. And obviously, you can also remove this UI in different layers. And then you can use that to like follow the rocket. You can change different cameras on the rockets. Uh, some of them look pretty decent sometimes. And of course you can use this to just follow the rocket to orbit. You can use this to also take uh, photos, which will then save to a location that's written there on the screen because it's a little bit of a weird location, but it will save there. You can of course also just remove the UI and then take a screenshot with Steam or a print screen screenshot. You can do whatever you want, but that's just a a thing I wanted to include because, you know, it can look it can look pretty decent sometimes, and and maybe you want to take a, a screenshot, and edit that image to something that looks really cool. So yeah, that's photo mode. You can use that on the launch pad and in the rocket hangar. Of course, the rocket viewer scene is basically one big photo mode thing, so it doesn't really make sense to have it there. That's the essentials of Rocket Explorer. Now let's get into some more specific questions. So once it comes out, how can you play it? If you have a PC running Windows, or if you have a Mac, or you have a system running Linux, you can play Rocket Explorer. I want to make sure that whatever system you have, you are able to, to play this and, and try it out. Of course, your computer has to be able to handle it, but there are some minimum requirements, and those are on Steam. You can see them there. But the really awesome thing is, it's also for VR. So if you have a VR headset that can run Steam VR, you should be able to play it. Now, I only have one headset, uh, so I can only really test it on that one. But I have got some other people to test it on different headsets. And it really should be working on various headsets. The main thing is really the controllers, because they're very different. Different amounts of buttons and controls. So getting the menu fairly certain it should be working. And if it's not, I'm going to fix it in, in quick updates after the release, just to make sure that it all works. It's for your computer and or VR. The VR version is a bit different. It has the launchpad scene, so you can go in and view the rockets in all their true scale. And you can also view the rockets in the hangar scene. It doesn't work for the, the viewer scene that you saw first, but that's because that's sort of a unique scene. I haven't found a way to make that sort of be a good experience in VR yet. If you have any suggestions on how that could work, maybe you grab the rocket and rotate it around. That could be cool. But I'm going to look in, into that in the future, if it's requested enough, if it's important, you think. Or there could be other things that's more important. So let's get into some of the questions that I saw you guys ask online. Will it only be released on Steam or will it be released on other platforms as well? For now, it will only be released on Steam. And that's because, again, I'm only one, one guy, one person. And all I could really manage is 
releasing it on Steam. That's a lot of work to begin with. I really do want to get out to more platforms, as I've spoken about earlier, getting out to as many people as possible. That means console and that means other VR headset that have their own uh, game stores where you have to specifically sell it on that instead of just Steam. If we take the Oculus Quest, for example, has its own store for some weird reason. Don't ask me about it. I believe you should be able to use what's called Oculus Link and that will link your Oculus headset to your computer and then you should be able to load different games on it. I don't know if that will work with Steam VR and, and such, but it <laughs> it could work. And it's not a game where you have to move about a lot. You basically just stand there or sit down, whatever you prefer. So the, the cable running to your PC shouldn't be a problem. Okay, what rockets are in Rocket Explorer? With this release, there are 41 rockets. Here's a list of all of them. Spoilers, <laughs> those are all the rockets. Will you be adding more rockets in the future as new rockets are being developed? Yes, definitely. I will be adding many more rockets in, in future updates and as new rockets come out and, and get developed, I'll definitely add those. That's what this whole thing is, is all about. So 100%, I will be adding some new features, fixing some bugs, but I will definitely be adding more rockets because 41, it's not enough. 42. There we go. No, probably need to hit like 10 times that. Are there currently or will there be proposed slash conceptual rockets? Yes. As you can see here, there's the Alpha rocket by Firefly. It's technically a real rocket. It just hasn't flown yet, but I think it illustrates my point. There's also some other rockets. You might've seen that on the big list that I showed before that haven't flown yet and, or, or haven't even been built fully yet. At the end of the day, it's just me who chooses whatever rockets I think are cool enough to be on this launch pad. So yes, something like Sea Dragon, for example, could be added in the future. It probably will. And some other things like uh, some of the wild concepts after N1 and, and Saturn V. So yes, any rocket that's notable enough will have the chance to, to get added. How good are the physics? The answer is really no. There are no physics per se. When you launch rockets, as you can see I'm doing now, it's all on rails, so to speak. It follows a specific curve and it follows it with a specific speed. It's always going to be that exact same thing for, for every rocket. The only thing that might look physics-based right now is that when they stage. And it's not physics-based, it's animated. But for each and every rocket, they stage at a point in time that they do in real life. So that's individual for every single rocket. Spend a lot of time working on that. So yes, no physics, it's all on, on rails. Will you be able to see how the rockets are built? I changed this question a little bit from just being focused on Starship. I hope that's fine. I think that's interesting. Um, I will definitely have to think more about that. I haven't thought about that at all, like going into the process of how they're built. Um, maybe I could do something there, but I will definitely have to think more about how that could be included because it's, it's very unique for every single rocket and how much in detail I would have to go. Maybe I'll do something like that in the future. Can you import your own models? Not right now. I really like the idea of this on multiple levels. I like the idea of, of you guys being able to do your own thing and then put that into Rocket Explorer and see sort of a collaboration or whatever you want to call it. Could also just be called a mod. It could also be like a feature inside Rocket Explorer to upload a payload, for example. And I really like the idea of that because right now the, the rockets don't have a payload when you launch them. So it would be really cool if you could like make your own 3D model or download one from online and upload it to Rocket Explorer and then see it get launched. Rocket Explorer is also made in Unity, the Unity game engine, which is what Kerbal Space Program is also made in. So it could be easy to mod. I haven't done a lot of things with mods in Kerbal Space Program, so I don't know the exact process of how it would be with, with Rocket Explorer, for example. The option is probably there. Um, it might be easiest, for example, to change some of the textures on the on the rockets and maybe more difficult to add your own rockets and, and such for now. Will you ever be able to ride in the capsules or in the rockets themselves? 
I definitely plan on doing that. I definitely plan on, on that being a feature in the future. Right now you can't, but oh, it would be so cool to be able to go inside the capsules and, and ride them to orbit, especially in the VR version, but also in the in the other versions. Oh, that would be so cool. So 100%, that's one of the things I'm going to start working on right after this release because, ooh, that would be cool. So here's one question I got from Bradford Space. Any plans to add in-space transport vehicles to Rocket Explorer? We definitely want to add our square rocket transport vehicle. I haven't actually given it any thought to add transfer stages, transfer vehicles like this, mission extension vehicles, anything like that. I might do that. Uh, it might look a bit different from Rocket Explorer. It might be a DLC or something. Probably would be free. Uh, I have thought about an engine viewer that could also probably answer someone's question yeah so so maybe in some capacity but in the main experience this is about rockets they are the launch vehicles and not so much the in space transportation vehicles so i hope that makes sense um but it, it could be in the future that there could be some sort of uh extension to rocket explorer that could add a, a payload it could also just be a part of the, the game in a future update. I don't know, I have no idea. I have been toying with this idea of adding this engine viewing scene, but I feel like that might even be more nerdy than this is in, uh, to begin with. And this is already very nerdy. So so that's why I was thinking it could be a, a free DLC that I could work on. And then if you do want even more nerdy stuff, you could download that and, and, and view engines uh, and maybe Maybe you could view satellites and, and and transfer vehicles like this. So yeah, I hope that answers that question. Thank you very much, Bradford Space. I think that's all the questions. Of course, if you have any more questions, you can always just ask me on Twitter. I'm at Casper underscore Stanley. Subscribe here on my channel. I will be posting a, a development vlog for this update also, where I talk about how this differs from the previous version that I posted for my patrons exclusively. And that's a lot of things because, wow, I, I took a lot of time to do this last version. There's a lot of new things and a lot of improvements since that last version. So I think that will be interesting to, to talk about. It'll be a long video. And I'll also be talking about some of the things that I plan on doing in the future, even though I did that in this video also a little bit. August 21st, I really hope you will enjoy this thing that I spent so much time on. Oh, it's weird. It's really weird. Thank you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, Q&A thing. Frequently asked questions, maybe. I hope I answered your questions. If not, you can always ask me on Twitter. Ask me down in the comments below here. Anything, I will uh, try to get back to you and, and answer all your questions. Cool. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye. Does it come with cake? No.